going on people chris here back in the video for you all today so welcome to the fifth episode of the series um today guys we are here at the jupiter inlet where uh apparently the snook bite has been on fire which is something i've always really wanted to try i uh, never tried snook fishing here at the inlet before but i'm super excited to see what we can do of course the series is about catching tarpon so there is a chance we can catch one here but i felt like given um, the events of the last video where we caught um you know our very first tarpon i thought why not give ourselves a little bit of a break we still have time to catch more tarpon later on, but uh, the snook fishing here at the inlet has been on fire, so I definitely want to try it out. I'll make sure to get right back to tarpon fishing a little bit later. That being said, before we the video, guys, but 87% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed, so if you're not already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Let's get to the video, shall we? Maybe the biggest one I've ever hooked. Oh my god, he's jumping like crazy. It's a good target. Well, as you guys can see, we got ourselves some baits here, caught from June up here, some live pilchards. I'm gonna go ahead and rig these dudes right through here. And we're gonna see what we can get. We got the van stall. There's a lot of things you can catch here besides snook too, big cabaras, and jacks here as well. Of course, near the rocks where I'm fishing, it's uh, mainly gonna be the big snook, but. There we go, y'all. Just hooked up. A little snuff. Got your butt. Flip or die. Oh, wow. That's a big <sighs> well Let's go. Well, there we go, y'all. First fish of the day. A beautiful little snook. About uh, 20 inches or so. Nothing big, but uh, awesome catch on the last. Oh, there he goes. All right, little bud. There he goes. What is going on guys so as you guys can see it is the following morning basically i fished the inlet for about an hour and it started to rain we only had that one stuck in the beginning um which is annoying um so it's the following morning we are here back at juno beach pier let's see what we can do i got the rods all rigged up let's go ahead and see what we can catch today first drop There you go, guys. That's the first fish of the day. Okay. Oh. Oh. Past tense. Yeah, I think that must have been like a mackerel or something. Well, unfortunately, I just lost whatever that was. Not entirely sure. I thought it was a mackerel at first because I thought I cut the line there, but it wasn't a mackerel. I think it was probably either a bony or a jack, one of the two, but let's see what else we can catch. Oh, 
Alright, I just hooked up again. Oh, you're good. Okay, this, this cannot have been a snuff. <laughs> no, yeah, that's not a snuff. You don't. That was at a bottom bait under the pier, though. I don't know what this is. I don't know, probably. I was very sure you're going to take your own pick. Damn, I'm so rough. That's definitely a shark, yeah. It's almost all the way, it's almost like block drag. Alright guys, we'll check in or like, you know, 20 minutes, 25 minutes into the fight, something like yeah, at that. At least, at least that long. Yeah. Uh, very surprised that if this is a shark, it hasn't uh, yeah, it cut me off yet. But, uh, been jumping. That's what I was talking. It would have been jumping. It was, yeah. jump. it was on the surface a little while ago. I didn't really see what it was. Stupid fish. Bro, I see my backing. That is like, scary. for a very long time so I don't know, we have another if somehow he manages to stay on like another 10 minutes of fighting okay it's been about an hour and 15 minutes into this fight and uh, we finally have the shark pretty close to the water to the pier here No, not that too bad. Oh, Alright, let's go break this off now. Alright, what is going on guys? So all that happened there, I didn't quite explain on camera. Basically, towards the end of the fight, my GoPro died. Um, I had to switch out the batteries, and by the time I put them back in, um, the fish had been sitting at the base of the pier for quite a while, and I wanted to let it go. I had a very long fight, and I didn't really want to stress it out too much. Um, but basically, uh, because of that, I didn't have a lot of great footage of the fish itself, because the camera died, so I used whatever footage I had from people who were filming uh, the event around me, and I also was able to use a couple short GoPro clips that you guys already saw. But basically, as you guys could see from those clips, this was an enormous shark. It was easily 200 pounds, um, somewhere between 8 to 9 foot. And I realized later um, that this fish was actually pretty close to the state record uh, in Florida, which again, um, is actually shockingly low. It's only 263 pounds and 5 foot. Um, as you guys could also probably tell at the end of the fight, um, my rod tip is broken. And that is because in the time frame before I replaced the battery in my GoPro, um, I accidentally snapped my rod. This happened because I was trying to bring the fish up to the very surface of the water. It was sitting about eight feet down at the base of the pier. It was a caught fish, it was very tired. I just needed to lug this dead weight up to the surface. Um, and basically I wanted to get a picture of it. Um, as I was doing this, I didn't really think 
and I pulled a little too hard and I snapped the rod. Now this rod was a St. Croix Siege Surf Rod. Didn't really know its limitations. Um, it was the most flexible rod I've ever used. Um, at this point, this is my fifth time ever using it. Um, so I didn't really understand the rod as well as I should have. Um, and because of that error, I snapped the rod. Even though this fish was dead weight at the end of the fight, for most of the fight, this fish was not dead weight. Um, this fish almost spooled me three times in the duration of the fight. Um, I've caught plenty of 60 to 120 pound nurse sharks in the past, um, and they were just dead weight, but this fish actually fought pretty hard. And that's because it's pretty much as big as these fish get. Um, and I was running 30 pound test in my VR125, which has 42 pounds of drag, and uh, I had to fight it very, very carefully, which is why the fight took an hour and 15 minutes. It was a super awesome catch, but unfortunately it did come with a cost. Um, I snapped my rod, my only really good surf rod that I had with me at the time. Because of this, um, I didn't really have the right equipment now to chase these oceanic tarpon. And I realized shortly after that event that um, with the remaining time I had in Florida, I would need to be targeting freshwater and brackish tarpon. That is exactly what we did, we went full force um, into targeting those fish. Anyway, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's definitely a, a video of mixed emotions for sure. Some uh, great disappointment with the rod, but then also um, it was great to catch a fish of that size. First time I had 15 years of fishing, I caught a fish over 200 pounds. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.